Er ist der Syro. Äh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I am really grateful for, for you sharing with us this beautiful story. And I wish uh, both your parents were still alive. I'm sure, I'm sure they will be extremely, extremely uh, impressed and extremely fulfilled. Yeah. Mm. But they are with you in spirit. Very true. Very and, I, and I think uh, 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 we can never forget the foundation they've given us. Uh, and I kept on reflecting on what you have said to me, that uh, their business that they, had, they were running taught you uh, to understand the power of selling. <clears throat> I'm sure that is what you kept for yourself. Tell me, when you meet people and they ask you, what do you do? What is your short answer? Character development. It's my line of work. Character development. Yep. And what, what title does it give you? That sounds like a, a, an activity. So are you a character developer? <laughs> so my, my theme would be, I think as a human development practitioner. Yes. So the line of work that I'm in is human development practitioner. I like that. Yep. I like that. Uh, it's always uh, important for me to, before I finish the talk, that you <coughs> might be qualified in journalism and ven new venture creation, uh, yep. uh, community licensing officer, but ultimately when you are complete, you become something that is unique and that is that that helps me to define it human development practitioner very true so that is the name that i'm going about for the past five years when they say the sihota one would ask which one and those that know me would say the human development practitioner beautiful stuff and you look at the holistic holistic development of a human being yeah we'll yeah. talk more about it good yeah, um, let's go for it. Uh, what's the name of your 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 enterprise? Touch Business, the Touch Motive Consulting. Touch Motive it's, Consulting. Yes, abbreviated TMC. Yeah, it's a PTY. Mm. PTY Ltd. Yes, it's a private company. TMC, and uh, yeah, uh, tell us about how it came about, how you put it together, and uh, what are its deliverables. There's an interesting story behind the, the business name. Mm. You know, when my mother, when I looked at my mother's intoxicated clients at the, the, the pub yeah. and, and how they used to behave when they are intoxicated, mm. I told myself I had a desire to someday be a businessman in the character development or the character building sector. You know, to debunch the behavior of people in, you know, when, when, when they are drunk, I, I was inspired to say, I need to have a business that can develop characters. Mm. And this business must be one that can impact a human's holistic behavior. Mm. Now, the name of the company was inspired by executive Touch Motive Consulting. So it's a consulting firm. Mm. Everything we touch, there's a motive behind. Wow. So now at Touch Motive Consulting, we don't just do business. We need to generate a motive first before we touch you as a client. Mm. So now the things that we are executing or the services that we work with at Touch Motive Consulting Number one, we're looking at training support, mm. workplace skills audit. This is one of our quick uh, sellers in the company. Mm. It's, it's one service that is moving. Workplace skills audits. Currently in South Africa, companies are firing people. Mm. But they don't know that you don't need to fire anyone if we have the skills development sector. 
Now, we make people understand that if you are saying you are firing someone because they are not competent on an Excel uh, a, a, a program on Microsoft, or you are firing someone because they don't know how to write reports, we come in your company and do a workplace skills audit to say, the person that you are firing, you don't need to fire them. The only thing that they are running short of is a skill of writing reports. So go then and empower this person on how to write reports and retain the talent and the skill that they have and the experience that they've already gained with the company. Mm. So workplace skills audits, it's saying to a company, if you are losing on profits, let us come and help you as a company to see which skills are lacking in your entity. Mm. Maybe somebody has hired a manager that dealt with um, retail, but you were actually looking for a production manager. Mm. You are not looking for somebody that has done retail. You are looking for a production manager that knows something that has to do with media. That's what we're looking for. So your human resource department did not have the hiring skill. So we teach companies not to fire because firing can also be costly. Mm. We say to companies, stop firing. Let's do a skills audit to check what is running short in your company. So if your driver is missing deadlines, maybe your driver is lacking time management. We capacitate your driver with a time management skill or course or an intervention. And then you retain that driver with that experience and the knowledge of the company so that the driver can be back online and do the right thing. That's the second service that we order that mm. we, we have in our company. Mm. We also offer your conflict management interventions. Companies are losing on profits because colleagues cannot coexist. Mm. Workplace emotional intelligent interventions. Companies are losing on resources and clients because of just one person in a team that could not manage their emotions properly. Mm. We also host numerous customer service interventions negotiation skills interventions, work readiness interventions, and commercial creative writing skills with workplace coaching and mentoring. Now, this one, it's also a niche. There's a quick, I mean, there's a market for it as well, the commercial creative writing skills. Mm. People are losing on business not because they are not proposing, okay, or they, are, they don't know how to propose. Some of these uh, executives their writing skill is a bit compromised. They cannot carry their idea on paper. Mm. So we also teach professionals as touch motive consulting to say, whatever that you have in your mind, you need to have the skill to table it on paper so that when you forward it to a possible investor, they are able to understand you at first encounter on a piece of paper. If mm. you did not have the opportunity to speak to them over the phone, they must be able to understand you as well on paper. So commercial creative writing skills is one of the services that is also moving where companies are requesting us to review their documents and to also realign their content. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Yeah, that is... Uh, and, and, and you know, I, and I can see the touch of the media writing skills, reporting skills, communication mm -hmm. skills... Mm. Uh, uh, um, knowledge transfer, yes, uh, all in one, and that's that really makes you truly a human development practitioner. Uh, mm. Yeah, and um, so so, what is the vision that you have for the organization? Now we want to be the go-to institute for character building interventions. Mm. So when we say we want to be the go-to institute for character building interventions. Every human resource department, and when I say every, I know I'm generalizing, but it will be our wish to see most human resource departments tapping into our services. Mm. Now, if an employee is compromised in a company, we should be the first in mind for any human resource department to say, can we please take this employee at Touch Motive Consulting for a character building intervention? That is our mm. vision. Mm. Our mission is to service the human resource departments in employee development. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Now, when a government department is compromised in HR, the government should say, can we just prepare a tender for touch motive consulting to mm. come and capacitate our talent on character building? Beautiful. And, and you are, are you the sole director or do you have other partners in the business? I'm the, I'm the, sole, I'm the sole director. I go a lot into collaborations. Yes. I'm the only company owner. They're fully black owned. Mm. And Touch Motive Consulting goes a lot into um, collaborations. So but you work, you work with associates? Yep, associations on collaborations. Yes, so and, 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 and your team, uh, uh, how, how is your team put together? Do you, do you get raw talent and you develop it, or you have some specialists that come with knowledge into your team? That is my strongest win. I develop raw talent fresh from university, and I build the skill, mm. and I retain them in the company to activate all some of the business activities that we have. Mm. Mm. Because touch motive consulting is project driven, so I see. sometimes we we are not able to retain uh, mm. the staff component because of the project driven approach that we have. Yes. But we do have, I think, uh, maybe two that are fitted on that main full time. Mm. So, having mentioned those services that you offer and how you put the organization together, uh, if one asks you what is, what will you say is your company's value proposition, what will you say? Why, why should I come to you, not the next door? The question would be, why Why shouldn't you come to my company, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I have two options. They all look the same when I look at it. And what makes me now to... I'll, I'll, I'll answer. Okay, I'll, I, I have two ways of answering mm. uh, your question mm. on how we are dealing with competition and how do we retain our clients. Mm. That 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 in, on its own can give you our 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 very so the after after care yeah you know mm. so if 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 you look at how we deal with with with, with competition um, there's something that most companies are, are not actually following. If you're in the media industry, you will understand what I mean. Mm. We we don't follow fraternity trends. Mm. You know, we 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 are stagnant in in, in one thing. Mm. You know, we, we, as TMC, we increase service value and clients' incentives, however, not compromising our offering. Mm. You know, clients only migrate from your company when they are given a raw deal. Absolutely. I, I, so I, I, I 100% agree with that because, uh, because uh, it's all about the relationship until the relationship is messed up. Uh, yeah. and then people will start thinking and I always feel sorry for people who are buyers of, of, of services in companies because when you are presented with two equally companies the only thing that you can be fearful of is to make a wrong choice of the two yeah and, yeah. and, and sometimes you make a choice and hope that you are going to be vindicated and if that happens then you want to keep that relationship and it's always very hard to crack that first relationship, especially if you are spending uh, your, your, your investors and shareholders' money in a special for big yep. organizations because you can be fired for hiring a useless service provider. Yeah. And, and, and so, so why, that's why the question of value proposition is sometimes asked uh, to, 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 to help us be able to formulate a very strong value proposition that makes it easy for the buyers of service to to to, yeah. to, to, to put their neck on the block and say, I can go with Lesego because his value proposition is very appealing and convincing. Yes, another, another thing that we also look at is that the touch motive consulting as part of value as well and how we, 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 we retain our clients. Mm. It's by avoiding too much automated systems to solve problems. Mm. This is what I mean. There is no human factor in your business. That is very dangerous. Mm. People have invested in automated systems to solve mm. problems for clients. Mm. Now, I know. When, a customer, when a customer has a problem, we make sure they can speak with a real and sympathetic person, ideally in person or by phone. Mm. We also stay in touch and encourage their interaction. We get personal with our clients. Many customers place uh, much value uh, on the quality of service, friendliness, mm. comfort, 
familiarity as well, you know, mm. and they, 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 they want to make sure that they get the human factor in your business. Mm. As much as it is the fourth industrial revolution, most times they divorce businesses that don't have a few human factor. You cannot be holding online for 25 uh, minutes and not having the real person, the human factor that says, please keep on holding, we'll get back to you because of we having a struggle sort of one, two, three, mm. you know. And we also rely a lot on customer feedback. We take our customer feedback very seriously. It also encourages us to stay in touch mm. with our clients and the service offerings that we have if they are still relevant. Mm. You know, mm. we also host a twist of monthly clients' treats and gift gestures. So our clients, they know they are taken care of uh, perhaps every month if we have done very well to say, go and treat yourself at a day spa wheresoever, you know. So mm. you must travel with your client. Let it not be a once-off thing. Mm. So people need to develop this thing of traveling with their clients. You know, follow up with your clients. After offering a service, how is it? Do you have any reports for me? What are the latest developments? What can we improve? You know, remember, we are all in business to offer value so that you can make an extra rent. Absolutely. Never use your, your, your clients as a once-off and just exit the whole business transaction. Mm. You are the extension of their service offering too. Very true. Very and, true. and and the, the the profile of your clients. I'll only give you a few on the clientele that I have. I mean, with the relationship management that we have with our clients thus far, you know, mm. I have managed to work with Investec, and the Investec is one company that has managed to boost me a lot. Mm. on their ProMath program. The Houghton Department of Education is one of my clients, Maswai Communications, the Southwest Houghton College, the Houghton Enterprise Propeller, Sianova Seminars, ProTech, mm. Gugano mm. Math and Science, Lindima Tabo Training Institute, the Short Left Travel Campaign, you know, Stockfell Media, uh, Kazim Lani, Pilani Community Development Center. It's quite a vast... So it's a combination uh, of uh, public and private and PTYs and... Very true. And, 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 and the, 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 the social development space as mm. well. And, Very true. And they've never said, listen, we are a township boy, we want you to be somewhere in Santon so that we can you, come to your office. Man. <laughs> and, you, you know, they, they've done that. They've done that. And it's good that I have clients that were never uh, much of a uh, bashing client. They would mm. always come to our offices in Maponya Mall to come and do business with, uh, with, with us. They, of course, if the meeting is not in the north, they will prefer to come and see where is this uh, young enterprise owned situated in. And, and you know, at times when I say I'm situated in Maponya Mall, some didn't believe that then they'll say, you see now these boys, they like using the status of such a big uh, economy cup. Yes. And hey, come to Maponia, you get there, you are received by a young receptionist, you know, you come to my office and they can see that this is really a real thing. Mm -hmm. Because I was groomed and coached by old crocs that know what business is. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, so and, 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 and I mean, they don't underestimate the, the importance of, uh, of living examples of the township economy uh, player, role players. Very true. Very true. And the Mall is also is also is epitomizes that. Uh, mm -hmm. So the fact that you are in the township doesn't mean that yep. the service can be poor. There's no truth in that. Very true. We cannot compromise service. It needs to be first class all the time. Mm. We are in business to offer value, not mm. to offer mediocre. Mm. And uh, and uh, every business has got service providers and suppliers. What sort of things do you source from any other business that make you to be able to do your work, other than associates that you sell source their additional service? The thing that I mostly source is soft skills. So I mm -hmm. mean your trainers. Yes. So most of my work involves a lot of training and capacitating, so I would need to have other colleagues. So you create opportunities for other, other, other practitioners as well. Very true, very true. Hence, we have also go, went into partnership of actually preparing talent mm. for touch motive consulting. Mm. So by that, I mean the people that work with me at touch motive consulting, these are people that I would have trained and prepared for myself mm. so that I can be able to tap into their talent as a resource as well. Yeah. So mostly I source a lot of soft skills. I need a lot of trainers and facilitators. Mm. 
Mm. And and without without revealing confidential information, what will you say are your major sources of income streams in your service offerings? In service offerings, that, that will be training. That will be training. The major, yeah. yeah, the major income stream is training. There's a lot of demand in the training space. Yes, are you are you are you are you uh, accredited by one a particular CETA or you, you the do partnership, the, con the conglomerate that we went in? It's the one that is uh, accredited. That's Intech Education. So it's, uh, it's a conglomerate of companies. Yeah. Ah, okay. So okay. we are accredited. Um, hey, quite a lot of of, of 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 offerings. We do your facilitator training, assessor, moderator. Mm. You know your mm. emotional. So they they are your partner. Yes, they are our, 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 our yeah. partner. Because it sounds like your specialization is not off-the-shelf type of uh, thing. You create solutions based on the dynamics that you find with clients. But there will Very be true. those who will need accredited courses that, that you need to offer. And that's where AI tech comes in. So if it's aligned with the, 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 the Skills Development Act and somebody says, I want an accredited program, Yes. Then we are able to 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 offer that to prepare a course in that. But because some of the offerings that we give, they are not uni standard aligned. Mm. So there'll be a client that will be strict and say we want one that is uni standard aligned. Yes. Then with the partnership and conglomerate, we are able to prepare mm. that for the client. But the, there are clients that are not strict on uni standards, you know, and accredited courses. They will say no, 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 no. We don't have time for all of that because remember. When you take the one with uni standards, it has what we call a portfolio of evidence. It might take time to conclude. Yes. But a client will say, I don't want, uh, I don't have time to be focusing on so much work. Just come and give me a capacitation on a thing or two of these modules that I want to know about. So we'll just prefer, I mean, a, a, a booklet manual sort of that can capacitate them on that theme. Mm. But there are those clients that say, I want this employee of mine to be on a four months uni standard course. So we'll be able to schedule them for four months in training. But other clients, they do tell us that we don't have time to be focusing on so many months uh, studying. We just want you to come and capacitate and give a lecture. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you did indicate that you do write books as well. Yes. Mm. We have a special wing at Touch Motive Consulting. Mm. We call it publishing consulting. Mm. Mm. So it's not a core business at Touch Motive Consulting. It's a special program mm. that keeps your operations flowing as well in, in, in the office. So it's an income generating program that we have. Well, it's a sort of a, an event that we always create, that we created in our company, rather, to capacitate people that want to get into the writing space. Mm. So now we will take you from the conceptual phase of just having a book title. Mm. So TMC has a publishing wing that is managed by somebody else. Okay. But we only do specialized publishing. This is what we mean. We don't take clients that want to publish because they saw somebody else publishing. Mm. We are publishing clients that have a story that can impact the community. Beautiful. Now, we will take you from the concept of just having a, a book title and then we will coach you through and design a timetable for you after consulting to say this is how you get to write your manuscript until the conclusion of your manuscript, until the editing process of your manuscript, until the technicality phase of the manuscript, until it leads to the actual publishing of your book. Beautiful. So. We are not a book publishing company, but we also have a special wing that does... Yeah, so you, you assist those program. who desire to publish. Very true. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. Wow. What a story. This young man that started gambling and then saw the light and never looked back. Beautiful story. Mm. Beautiful story. I, I think there is a lot of lessons out of story. And thank you very much for being so generous, and I'm sure you will agree with me that uh, this is more impactful than sitting with kids in a class and saying, don't take this career, take that one. Don't take this one, yeah. take that one. Uh, it, it will not be so 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 penetrating than telling the story of yourself and uh, and uh, if it was uh, 
if it was a Libita, what do you call that? If it was a story on radio or a movie, this is this is the what do you call when the movie that ends with good news? What do you call it? <laughs> good, happy ending. Happy ending. Yeah. Happy ending. Even the bad ending sometimes become a lesson for others, but. This was destined to become a success, and I think uh, you must be very grateful for for what the the lessons you've got out of the knocks of life. Indeed, I am very grateful, and I also have to thank in that Egypt in Jumaila for also having uh, believed in me in executing my story with your radio station, Mr. Lawrence Kheshebe. Mm. Uh, I really appreciate their belief in me, and for you as well, executing such a wonderful show. The narrative was great, um, you know, and I enjoyed the whole flow. Like you said, you didn't even feel like you were, you had a script with you there. It was just flowing and in sync, just in that form. I also love to appreciate your time as well, Mr. Sam. Lovely, lovely. That is what the Lekota approach does, you know. It just uncovers so much that we wouldn't have covered if you used other strict uh, 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 methodologies. What will you, what will be your last words to the listeners out there? I want to close this show with a quote that I've generated for myself, and I live by it even now. Mm. An opportunity visits an available person. An opportunity visits an available person. Beautiful. Opportunities will never come and dine with you if you are not available. But when you start availing yourself, opportunities will come and visit. An opportunity visits an available person. Beautiful. If you always complain that you are not available, opportunities will pass you by and they will go and knock in the other door and they will dine with somebody who is available. Beautiful. Thank you very much, my brother. We have really enjoyed the, uh, having a conversation with you. The country is blessed to have people like yourself that are willing to use their story to inspire the others. Thank you very much, Mr. Step. Lovely. Dear listeners, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Lesego Tahu. I call him the Lion of Soweto. <laughs> 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 he, is the, he is the founder and the leader of uh, a company called uh, Touch Motive Consulting, Pitua Limited located at Maponya Mall in Soweto. So he is a proponent of the township economy and he called himself the human development pra practitioner. What an important role he's playing in our community. Thank you very much. and Salute, salute. Once again, my name is Sam Zima. I am the CEO and executive business coach at Commerza GOC International. Uh, let me remind you of our website. It is www.commerza-goc.com. And of course, we welcome people and individuals and organizations to join our NPO, Commerza Friends and Supporters Club. That can be done online at www.commerzaclub.africa. You're welcome to drop us an email at callcenter at commerza-goc.com. Call center is spelled C A W L C E N T R E and is at commerza gocom We thank you for tuning in and we are looking forward to welcoming you at our next uh, broadcast. Goodbye, uh, be safe and take care. Ciao.